get ready for the dictation on the count of 3 2 1 start sir we are deeply committed to changing the condition of living of millions of our pupil the vast majority of whom live in great poverty when we talk of the most urgent problems in the country which are the removal of poverty and the lessening of disparities our slogans have been made the matter of jokes and of ridicule any subject any question any debate has evoked the taunt as to what about garibi hatao surely poverty is too agonizing a state to be joked about except by those who have no idea what it is and have no real sympathy with those who live in the state of poverty if you want to look at the question seriously and sincerely we know that the poverty of ages cannot be wiped out in a few weeks a few months or even a few years anybody who pretends that he can do so is obviously trying to mislead the public we have never said that we can achieve this by a miracle we have never said that it can be done by magic we have always said that certain steps have to be taken deliberate determined steps and by those steps we can remove we will remove the poverty of this country but this also requires a change in social outlook there is talk of compensation even today we have heard some of it everyone knows that this is a subject about which i feel very strongly and i would like to put my views before the house as i have put them on previous occasions when we talk of compensation it is compensation for land compensation for a palace or a big house i should like to ask honorable members what about compensation for injustice what about compensation for forced labor for the eviction of landless people for land unfairly grabbed what happens when a mill is closed its machinery run down its reserves eaten away even provident funds diverted to private purposes a small man's business is closed and a partner driven to the street and other such things of the capitalist system i remember there is a small group of people in bihar they were among the first who came forward in the freedom struggle their lands were taken away by the britishers and up till now we have not given them that land we believe that the necessary social political and economic processes which are involved in changing poverty must be carried out within a democratic framework the vested interests have as usual raised a hue and cry either through lack of understanding or deliberate mischief as i said earlier they have misinterpreted many of the words which we use i talked earlier of commitment what i mean is that we are committed to the upholding of the freedom of speech of assembly of worship of 
every citizen of this vast and varied land our commitment to secular democracy is non negotiable there is nothing neg negative in our approach i am not against a class or a section of society i am for the indian people i know that they cannot be strong while poverty is deep and widespread i know that they cannot be united while there are disparities and while all sections including the minorities do not have a full sense of security and a full sense of participation in the development of the country democracy is not worth much if it does not involve all the people i can assure this house and the country that our commitment to upholding in every possible way the fundamental rights of our citizens remains absolute even when we speak of imposing certain restrictions on property rights our intention is not to abolish property only where property rights are in conflict with public purpose the public purpose must hold away our people understands this in the last elections every possible attempt was made to scare the people and to mislead them into believing that all property would straight away be taken away those who indulged in such a propaganda miscalculated and underestimated the wisdom of our people a wisdom based not on formal education but on personal experience some of us have joked and some have shown temper and some have sincerely pleaded their cause but i would urge all honorable members to approach the issues involved in our amendment with claim and sober reflection these amendments have significantly social and political import which we must try to understand in all seriousness the measures which we have taken and are taking are milestones in the progress of millions of our people they have come to be regarded by the people as marking a new stage in their struggle to build a social more human and just society as their elected representatives it is our duty to reflect their urges and i am sure this will bring us more near to the people it is in that spirit that i commend to you the acceptance of this bill